dumb but is here to entertain you. It is just so unfortunate that nowadays men really can't control themselves no more. Their urge actually controls them. It takes over their entire mentality and that is why at the end of the day you find a lot of men actually forcing women to have intercourse with them even without the approval of the women. No matter how pressed or charged you are, no matter how much you really want to have intercourse with a woman, but I mean always make sure that you seek the woman's consent first. Be it a man or a woman seek their consent first so that things are not going to turn south on your side sooner than later in our today's video mangalison gamer finally burst on social media and makes things clear about the fact that his sister came up and was blaming him of forcing himself on her a long time ago and he has been doing this continuously for 13 good years do well to watch this video right up to the end because he has actually spoken out the minds of so many people and revealed some very tangible secrets about his sister do well to watch to the end before i give you all the entire information you're welcome to my youtube channel do well to subscribe to this youtube channel like this video drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell Mangaliso Ngema, a controversial television actor, was arrested last week by the Santan police station for reportedly actually forcing himself on his own sister because he was very much charged, he was so pressed and he wanted to have intercourse with a woman. After appearing at the Randberg Magistrate Court on Thursday, the well-known actor was charged with a case of actually forcing himself on a woman and was released at 5,000 rands bail. Several South Africans came at him so hard on social media and didn't want him to even see the light of the day. According to reports, the actor will return to court on August a photo of this year. He asked her to definitely move in with him, according to his sister. But it's just so unfortunate that things went south the way they went. Mangali Songema actually went up to social media and posted some very touching information about his sister that let's look detailly among ourselves. I'm going to be quoting what he said. Friends and family, it is with deep sadness that I share this post. I'm sure many of you have seen the disturbing news about my sister Queen and her allegations. Please be aware that it is not true. My sister has not been well since the end of April this year. She was admitted to hospital for psychotic behavior, but she refused psychiatric treatment and absconded from the vicinity. She has been on the rampage since then, blaming everyone, her family and friends of various shocking things. It seems like she has actually been taken over by some very bad spirit. We are also dumbfounded by this. All I can say for now is that the allegations are not true and we are deeply concerned as a family and friends. She seriously needs help and we continue to pray for her well-being. Queen is a good person who loves her family and the real queen will never put people she loves through what she's definitely going through right now. I mean guys, he has come out to say all sort of things about her. She is not well mentally and she needs psychological support. He says that she has not actually been okay for a while now and that she is lying about most family members. Social media users have definitely come out to say all sorts of things. Some believe in him and some don't believe in him simply because of the fact that he has had similar allegations like this before. But they don't believe because are you going to actually go to the extent of sleeping with your own sister? Imagine. I mean, it's really so unfortunate. You all tell me in the comment section what you really think about this particular allegations and tell me if you think that it was all a lie and that she really has the psychiatric problems. So I'm going to be reading you all and replying to all of your comments. I love you.